Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today to share another little project with you and um, quite possibly a tutorial if we I can get through this um, relatively quickly. Uh, these are some little linen pockets I created. Um, you could use them in your journals or just as a standalone project or even, you know, if you want to um, put something in it to give away. Um, so there's one with, this is the decorated one. I only made one decorated one. And this one here is not sewn and I'll show you how I did that in just a minute. And then, um, so here's the other one. And this one is stitched on my machine, uh, which we will also get to. And this one is also stitched, has been stitched on my machine, but I included a string just like um, on those tea um, satchels that we made. Um, so if you wanted to pull it, you could or attach something to it, you could also do that. So I also wanted to mention that um, I stamped these all by hand with an ink pad and some of my stamps and I think that they came out really really cute. I was really impressed with them. Really had a lot of fun making these ones so I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, maybe you can give it a try. So I'll uh, just show you that these are some of my doilies here. I use some pom-pom trim here and some lace and then inside I just have a little envelope that I made out of some book page and a little tag. So probably not what I'm going to put in there but for prop sake we'll just <laughs> just to show you what it would look like. What I made them out of were these uh so i got these at my local dollar store i'm sure you excuse me i'm sure we could uh you could get them at michael's or uh, for those of you uh, in the states maybe joann's uh or and I, i'm not too sure i, I don't think it's going to be too hard to find but this is linen style fabric and there's the size right there so it's a nice uh, you know relatively square sheet of it uh, so it's 100% cotton. And so then what I did was I cut mine down like this to about, let's say I did about an 8 by 5 rectangle. Okay. So I will try to remember to put all the measurements down at the end, um, at the bottom of the vid video, so you don't have to worry too much, but I cut this to about eight by five. And without um, having to bore you with my stamping, I took some of my stamps, which I'll also show you those in a second. And on that eight by five sheet of linen, I used my ink pad. I happen to use this one uh, for fine onyx black. I did have to let it dry for a little bit because if you touch it, you know, you can see it on your fingers. It wasn't that bad, but you might want to let them dry for maybe, you know, maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes anyways. But that's the kind of ink I, I used. I'm sure any ink would be fine for that. And then I just, um, I chose stamps that were a little larger and I, you guys have seen these stamps on, um, and even these ones as well on other projects of mine. I tend to go back to these because they're sort of vintage and whimsical and fun and they're a little larger too so they take up a big space and that's what I liked, uh, like about them. So we'll go back to this in a second because we're going to get on the sewing machine if we can and I'll show you what I did. Um, so I get a lot of questions about uh, the stamps that I use and unfortunately, well, I have a lot of things that are like older products and that I accumulate and sometimes I forget to tell you guys what it is I use. Um, so most of these that I'm going to show you, and these are kind of like my go-tos, my vintage ones. Um, 
So what I'm going to show you, probably don't have in the store anymore, but what I'll do is I'll tell you what the names of them are and I'll even put them at the end of the video. And I know that um, I've been asked before and some of them, um, some of my subscribers have been able to find. So uh, you might, um, you know, get some luck that way. So the one that I used on the, the bags that are finished here uh, is this stamp here, this stamp set, and I really love this one. And sorry, I got it on sale at Michael's a long, long time ago. I don't know if you can still get it, but you may um, may want to. It's called Vintage Ads, A D S Vintage Ads. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. And it's from Michael's. And so this was quite some some time ago. So I don't know if you will be able to find it, but something like that is cute as well. And then all of these are from a company called Forever, uh, Forever in Time. So right there. And some of you, I mean, I got mine for two bucks at a store here in Canada, your dollar store with more. Um, I also at a place called Wow, which is like another kind of dollar store. I found them at Dollar Tree, I believe, at different times, but this is also one of my go-tos. You can see how well used it is. And so this one is called Tickets. Right there, Tickets. And there's a website there. And I'll put that at the bottom uh, of the video. So that's another one of my go-tos that I really love. And quickly, these are just some other ones that I really like. That one's called Old Fashioned. I don't know if that's focusing or not. And I really like this one with the timepieces. This one's called Vintage, uh, Vintage Ink. Also from Forever in Time. There's this one that I like. And that one's called Time Pieces. And then there's this one, just like a flourish kind of thing. It's also from Forever in Time. And I'm not sure this one has a name. No, it doesn't, but it's just a flourish like this. Okay, and then I also get asked a lot, like quite a bit, and this doesn't really have anything to do with this project, but how I get some of the lines on my journaling pages. And I use this stamp right here. <laughs> and it's also very old, but someone has already told me that they did find it on, I don't remember if it was eBay, Amazon, somewhere. But uh, this stamp is from Stampology. Um, and it's called to-do list and that's I use this a lot for um, the lines in my journals because they're spaced nicely and there's also an email address here and I will put that at the bottom of the video so uh, I just wanted to show you some of those because I do ask get asked a lot about um, what I stamp with so um, so also I, I use my stamp press, which is like really, it's worse for wear. I could probably stand to get another one. Um, but I would, I laid the stamps down as many as I could fit on, on here. And then um, I lay down my piece of fabric here. And I, so I just, like I said, I just lay them out in a pattern on here. And then with my ink, I'll just, um, you know, stamp the image down and then Wherever I have to fill in gaps, I'll just remove um, all of the stamps and then sort of fit in, you know, to uh, fill in the blanks. So if that made any sense at all. But so basically, I just want to have the whole thing covered in one way or another with with uh, the stamps that you choose. So um, these have been created in three different ways. Um, this one here. I didn't sew at all. So what I did was I used um, 
this is a speed sew and so it's more like a glue <coughs> excuse me like a fabric um, glue and it, this is the first time I ever used it and the only reason why I have it is because my husband saw it somewhere on sale and um, and he got it for me um, I know there's also some kind of no sew tape and there's a bunch of other things that you could probably get that work you know requires maybe some iron iron on or whatever if you don't want to do any sewing uh, I'll be honest I don't know if you can use glue maybe fabric fabric tack uh, it didn't have any I wanted to try it but that might work as well um, to kind of do the edges so this came out really well actually it's stuck really well I was able to you know fold up the top it's a little stiff but I don't think that really matters too much so if you really if you don't have a sewing machine something like this is a good alternative so I just wanted to show you that so that's how I made that one and then this one here like I said was stitched and I just put a string inside and so was this one so I'm going to show you how to um, make the one with the string just because and I'm no seamstress I'm the first to admit it I'm I just do what it looks right to me this is probably not right because I didn't clean up the edges here or fold them in or anything but it, it's the way I did it and it kind of works for what I need it to do so we'll make this one together and um, this one here is just without the string but it'll be pretty much done in the same way okay so I'll put these aside so let's get back to our little piece of fabric here so once you got the whole thing stamped and this is still our 8 by 5 piece of fabric I took it and I folded it in half and we're gonna cut it straight up the middle so that we have two halves. Nothing fancy, just took my scissors to it and that's it. So I let this I let this dry for some time, so it's it's dry now. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the uh, take one of the pieces and you're gonna turn it so that the printed side is on top of the printed side of this piece so we want um, the printed sides on the inside we don't want we don't want them on the outside because we're going to do some sewing now so this is not printed and that's not printed right so if we open it up it will be like this Okay guys, so we're here at my sewing machine and um, we have our two halves and the printed side is on the inside. So now what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna stitch straight down the right side of the fabric, okay? We're just gonna go straight down the one side. So that's what I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do a, like a running stitch right down the side here. Okay, so I'm gonna go forward and I'm gonna back stitch a little. And that's that. So now, let's see if I can zoom out a little. So now what we have is uh, our two halves sewn together, right? We just made that stitch down the center there or not the center, sorry, the right side. Right there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to insert that string um, around the top so that we can have that drawstring just like on um, 
on that sample I showed you here. So if you were not, if you don't want to put the drawstring in and you just want to make one like this, then you would just skip putting the string in, but go ahead and sew it uh, along the top the way I'm about to show you, okay? So uh, I just have a piece of thin yarn here and it's about uh, 15 inches long. You can make it as long as short as you want to. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut these here. Sorry, it's a little awkward to have my camera right in front of me. And that's why I'm so close. So uh, just on the top of that, uh, with the not printed side facing you, we're just going to fold down, maybe just like uh, about a half an inch, just to make a little pocket for that string to fit in. And this linen is sort of forgiving, so you can um, press it down with your fingers. You don't need an iron or anything. And it'll just kind of stay like that. So inside that little pocket that you just made, that little, you can insert your string, leaving the same amount on both ends. Just, sorry, it's a little bit fiddly. And so you just want to make sure that string is right up, up there, okay? You don't want to get it caught or sew over it, so just make sure that it's right up into that fold there. So this is basically what we have now. We have our string up into, up into that fold, okay? And now we're going to sew. So, let's put this down. So like I said, always just making sure you're not sewing over that string. I'd like to check and double check. <laughs> and we'll go slowly while, as we sew. Okay, sorry, my fingers are in the way. I'm gonna go forward, I'm gonna go backward. Make sure that's up in there. I know, this part's a little boring, guys, sorry. Okay, and we'll go straight across. So now we have our little, oh I got some ink on my machine there. So now we have our little gusset sewn. And like I said, okay, I'm not, don't claim to be a seamstress and I, I know that I could have tucked the edges in and made it all sort of, you know, clean and neat, but I kind of like this look for my journals and you know if it really bothers you that much you could always you know snip away so that's what we have now we have our sewing down the center and we have our little pocket made on the top for our drawstring so like I said you would have done that same thing without the string um, if you just wanted an, uh, a closed bag right Okay, so now we're just going to fold it back up here and we're going to finish sewing up our edges, okay? So now we're just going to go along the bottom and sew that. Let's make sure this is relatively straight here. Okay, we're going to go forward. And I forgot to go backwards, that's okay. I just like to leave my needle in there and turn the fabric. 
and we'll come up this side. Just before, uh, just before your fold at the top here, if you go too far, you're going to end up closing it up and you won't be able to pull the string, okay? So you just want to stop right at the top of your uh, little gusset there and a little back stitch. And that's it. So now at this point, we could just turn it right side out. And there you have it. Um, but this would probably just be just as good with uh, fabric or uh, printed materials that you guys have or any scraps that you have around. I just wanted to see what it would be like to stamp on it and it worked out just fine. So again, this is linen and I used regular uh, clear mount cling stamps and um, my VersaFine Black Onyx ink and and this is what I got. So a little sewing or not, uh, depending on what you want to do. Like I said, you could always use that. And, um, and that is what I came up with. So I hope you guys will give it a try. Uh, like I said, I'll have uh, all of the websites and names of my stamps and things that I use at the bottom of the video. And that's it. I hope you guys give it a shot and Hope you're all doing well and we will talk to you real soon. Take care guys. Bye bye.